Hello guys, so we're here again. We're going to present the NASC or NANE called the Nano Station for JVC. This station is a 14 watt station, great for working with, as the name says, nanotechnology. Okay, thanks to the tip technology, as we always talk about it, and how the tip is done, how small the tip is, is great for reworking any type of components until 0105. This tip, keep in, this station, sorry, keep in mind that it's a 14 watt station. Okay, so with heavy ground plane boards, maybe you need another station to go over there. But if you work with 0105, 0201s, 0402s, this station is going to work beautifully for you guys. Um, one of the biggest things is the, as I said before, the tip size. Okay, the tip size you will be able to see it. Tip size, it's amazing how close and how small GBC has been able to do it. Um, in this sense, we have in this combination, we have the NT115, that is the pencil. Super ergonomic, really comfortable. And then we have the N115A, is the tweezers, is amazing. This tweezers is one of the best ones in the market when you're coming to that small pitch components, okay? The same station comes with the same modes as all the other stations, is sleep mode, hibernation mode. Keep in mind that as the tips are so fine, you have to keep more careful of the tips, you have to thin the tips, do not crank the temperature. Remember about every single 50C that you're increasing, you're reducing the tip life by half. There's another link that you will be able to see that, how important the tip technology and the tip life regarding temperature is. In this sense, has the same parameters, link below, for, uh, you can select different temperatures, you can block the station, etc. You will be able to see the graphics also inside that will allow you to see how much power and how much temperature is being delivered in every single time. A little aspect in this station, you can see that there's no sponge, okay? Why there's no sponge? Remember, thermal shock of the tip, the cracking of the plating. Thing that, keep in mind that the plating of this tip is not as, as thick as other ones, because of, the, of how small the tip is, okay? So we're supplying three ways to clean the tip. The brush, the brill pad, and this high temp ESD silicone that you can clean there. However, my recommendation as always, using an automatic tip cleaner, this will always save you tip life. Remember, this is a really good investment to do. Coming back there, the way to replace the tips. You know that JVC has an amazing way to replace the tips. Taken out, no touch, really safe for the tip, for the hands. In this case, as the tips are so fine, okay, you have to be really careful on cracking the tip by pressure. So that's why you will see that by doing this, the tip goes out, by pushing it again, the tip goes in in a couple of seconds. You can see that thanks to that, there's no pressure applied. That's why the handles are laying down in there because we're trying to do as less contact as possible with the tip. Remember about that, okay?